Buckland Junction, here's Al. I'm in the hobby room and I am going to the loft. Uh, my next video was meant to be uh, making a main island station for my for my loft layout, um, but you can see <coughs> it's all still just basic materials. And something arrived this morning that I think I would like to do a video on. It's this eBay find from the other night, two o'clock in the morning. Bargain. Let me show you. As I say, came from eBay. I'll be careful in case I don't want to damage the boxes inside. I think, oh, oh that's in cardboard, that's good. Right, I'll show you the one they're out. Oh dear, what have I done? I've bought a pup. I reckon I bought a pup. This is a uh, well, it says Backman on it, but it's got, um, I would have said they were like Dapol, no not Dapol, yeah, Palatoy Bogies, so I'm not sure, looks like it's been repainted, the glass has got pushed in, um, its ends are all buggered up, runs okay that one, now this one's even worse, it's in like a matte green, Got separately fitted door handles, but look, what's going on here? What, what's that? Same up this end. It's all had a bit of a disaster. The roof's been painted in a kind of matte grey. This one's been painted in a like an eggshell finish. I'm not sure if that's factory. And what are these? These are like these knuckle things got two of them so I won't be using them. Anybody wants these let me know or send me a stamped address envelope and I'll pop them in for you. They're no good to me. I've got none of this knuckly type stuff. I'm not sure what they're called. But can I make anything out of these? I think that one's all right but you know to look at they're worse than my old Triang southern region. And this, hmm, can I stick some, can I owl dike some, oh, what a bastard, what a bugger, I thought I was getting two nice clean coaches, they looked alright on the picture, you know, this little tiny picture on eBay. And I've got this load of old cack, yeah. Got like rubber ends on, they're almost falling off. So I'm not sure. I think I bought a real pup. And uh, I'll try and put some, um, I'll try and put some D couplings. So this is kind of like a kit. Two, these are KDs, aren't they? And you can see where somebody's crudely glued it on there. And same here. Um, crudely glued those um, KD coupling sockets in. I think they're meant to be like a NEM pocket but uh, I think the KDs have survived but everything else I haven't got a clue. So now I've got two bogies that have had the um, they've had the um, coupling cut off so I've got to make two couplings. Thankfully I can use this as a copy so let me take that off and then I can aerodite something in its place. But what a bugger. Is this doable? Yes, I think it is. This is, um, it sticks out quite a long way from the bogey, but luckily enough, I can use the old metal Ds here. If I get them close enough, it will be slightly further apart. But, uh, yeah, so I got myself a nice couple of metal Ds. These are the metal Ds. These are my favourites with a little brass rivet. There we go. So somehow I've got to fix them on the front of these bogies. Otherwise, these are bin jobs or stationary non-usables. But yeah, I'm going to go for it. They run quite nicely, these bogies. So uh, yeah, let me get some aralditing done. Well, the route I've taken is to 15 by 12 mil pieces of Paxilin. 
that would be shaped to fit in here. I've cut and I've cut this out. I've cut this. Yes, I've cut this out of both of these bogies, and I'm going to try and get a pack, piece of paxilin in there. That'll be about the right length. But it's got to need some fire then because this is all narrowing down. So uh, yeah, let me keep at it. Well, I'm hoping these two pieces of file pieces of packs are in. One's upside down, so that's the one's upside down, this one's up the right way. And that's how they fit in. And I hope the Araldite glue will add a bit of, um, you know, strength back into the bogey. And then I can, um, <coughs> yeah, I can fit the, bo um, the uh, big D to the underneath of this. And we should be pretty close to where we uh, should be going. So, Araldite, here we come. There we go, I've got my packs of it, or circuit board really, uh, Araldite it in nicely. And this is the mock up. So, hopefully, um, oh, need something for resistance. So, let me try again. That's it, here we go. Well, apart from that, needing a bit of oil. We're bang on, so I'm going to get those aldited into place now. And there we go, my aldited metal D um, couplings are now okay. And there they are together. So, looks pretty good. Right, now I'm going to deal with the uh, fallen in glass. So I've taken the body apart and the glass fell out in my hand, so uh, I've clipped it all back in. Let's see if I can get it back into the coach. No screws, just no screws at all. Just clicks together, clips together. So let me see if I can put it back together now. Shall I put some people in? No, I can't be bothered. There we go. It looks so much better with the glazing back in. Right, let's put it all back together and see if we've got um, usable coaches. Hmm, now will this work? Hmm, seems pretty good. Right, let's go for a little run session then, because this adds another two carriages to my Triang 4 carriage set with a parcels van. So, uh, let's get Blackmore Vale out for a run. Well, welcome back to the loft. Right, let's have a run session and see what we can get going. Right, I think first up, hopefully, it's going to be Blackmoor Vale. Yeah, here she comes. And on the back, the two Batman carriages and the parcels. So, oh, not too bad, eh? Here comes the Black Five, which is Bernie at Crossways Point Junction, give me this. So we're still kind of running it in. Anything else? Yeah, we've got the P70 on a light parcel string. Yeah, look at that. So not bad after all. Maybe it was worth the hassle. They certainly perform all right. Ah! Wow! What's going on? Yes, a major accident here, a rail incident. For some reason, the 20 has swapped onto the um, bi-directional passing loop smashed into the uh, four set and that's run into the back of it is the um, Westmore Vale, um, Blackmore Vale. So that's it for today. I'm not cleaning this up today. I'll come up tomorrow and see what the damage is. What a monkey. 
Why that swapped, I don't know. I don't think I pulled a wrong signal, but uh, well, that's the end of today's running session. Ended in catastrophe. But hopefully nothing is really broken and uh, we'll fight to see another day. Oh well, that's me then. Hull and out. Cheesed off a little bit, but hull and out. And uh, for 20 quid and a bit of pissing around, my carriages have made it. They're all right to run with this. There is another two southern regions, so uh, yeah, totally off. Take care, good people. Alan out, I'm going for a beer. Wow, thank God for the emergency stop button. It's got me out of trouble quite a few times. Alan out.